And Thomas Pringle, Richard, not very happy at all about this letter sent from the Housing Minister, Dara O'Brien, to opposition TDs on this controversy. No, certainly not, Colette. And I think that things will only heat up as we come towards the unveiling of that MICA redress scheme for all of the families affected by this issue. Uh, Thomas Pringle not happy, first of all, with the Working Group's report published last week uh, with the leaks from government in the lead up to that, saying that they had gone down like the Titanic in County Donegal. He also, as he said, raised the issue of the letter written by Dara O'Brien to opposition spokespeople on housing yesterday, asking for their views on how they believe that the redress scheme should work, the overall costings uh, and their their own estimations on how they think that it should work. Uh, Thomas Pringle effectively putting it to Simon Coveney, the Foreign Affairs Minister, who's taking leaders' questions in very colourful language, that this was not a genuine offer. It is disingenuous to send that letter out to us. My deepest regret and disappointment is that you would do this on the backs of the people who are suffering. People who have seen their homes demolished, people who are watching their life savings and their life dreams crumble before their eyes. People who are living in constant anxiety and fear for the safety of their children and what the future holds for them in a mica riddled home and no hope of a resolution. I believe that the Housing Minister is taking this incredibly seriously. Uh, I think that the financial package that will be put together by um, and approved by government in time will be one of the largest uh, financial support packages ever announced in relation to anything. Well, as you heard from Simon Coveney there, uh, this package, which he said will be one of the largest ever assembled for anything by a government, uh, will not be published before the budget next week. It will be a couple of weeks before it is finalised and released. So uh, that is likely to be something which is scrutinised over the days and weeks ahead. It is also worth mentioning that there is another MICA protest uh, happening here outside the gates of Leinster House uh, this Friday, Colette. They came from Donegal and from along the west coast, coming by bus, car and van to bring their message to the capital. Our house has fallen down around us. If my wife is going to town, the kids are thinking it's a pirate meeting. It's at their age, five and nine, it's disgraceful. It's just the government has let us down. And the stress, anxiety, the depression, it's just crazy what the government is letting happen to the people, the taxpayers of Ireland. My wife's aunt is in her 70s, built her house in 2001. Uh, paid her mortgage and in her 70s now her house has been condemned. It's got to be tossed to the ground. She has got absolutely no chance of raising any kind of finance. So for people like that, for everybody really, you know, it's just, this shouldn't be happening. Donegal is a forgotten county and we're not taking it anymore. It's tough seeing and hearing cracks in your house morning and night and it's getting worse and worse and nobody helping you. The MICA householders and protesters numbering in their thousands, once more pushing for 100% redress with the government's decision due within a fortnight. For the government, the pressure is on. Charlie, these people don't hear, a lot of people here don't believe that there will be 100% redress given by this government. If they don't get 100% redress, what will you do about that? Well, my absolute focus is on delivering 100% redress. Um, total energies are focused on that and not, not, being, not being distracted from that in any way. And I am confident that working with my colleagues, both at cabinet level, but also my Oireachtas colleagues who are in government, who are in, from Donegal, Mayo and the other counties affected, that we can and will deliver a scheme that properly provides the finance and the help for homeowners to fix their homes. Well, this has been characterised as a last stand for the MICA campaign. Go big or go homeless. The organisers say they may not be done just yet. They say that if 100% redress isn't secured, they could still step up their campaign. Oh, definitely not. That's not a last stand. If there's 30,000 people here today, that's good enough. I might not ask them to come back down here again because 500 people can do the same damage as, as 30,000. We could end up in the, We could end up sitting on a sit down in the M50. We could close the ports. There's not. There's. There's nothing that's not going to be not going to be tried here. We're not stopping until we get 100% redress. For the families affected, time is running out to have a solution before Christmas, with many speaking of the hurt and anguish of their situations. Richard Chambers, Virgin Media News.